So after drawing a drawing for about three or four hours, the first half of my day, I finally realized, I came, I said, Peter, this is not the drawing that you want to be drawing. I wasn't having fun with it. I wanted to be drawing something else. So eventually, after somehow smudging it with some other colored ink from like a week previous that had, was like on my desk somehow, and I smudged it on that drawing, I, I laid it aside and began on the drawing that I really wanted to be doing, or at least closer to it, after having an orange, of course, for energy. And I don't know, is orange good brain food? What is, I've heard people use this word brain food before, and I really don't know what they mean. But this happens sometimes, right? You sit down, you draw, uh, you want to draw, right? You know that much. And you may have like something bubbling around in your head that is getting you started, but then it, it all just kind of goes haywire. You're putting the lines down on the paper, that part's fine, uh, but it just doesn't feel right. It's all this some weird intangible discordance and uh, that you get to some point where you gotta decide, you know, should I keep going? Should I finish this drawing just because of all the time I've invested? I, you know, I've been drawing this for three and a half hours. Should I put, you know, an hour or two more in just to finish it? Or, you know, maybe drawing is about, I do this to enjoy it anyway, so what's the point of keeping on going uh, if I'm not enjoying it? So, like this one, I put it aside, said maybe if I really want to, if I come around, if I feel different later, I can finish it, but not now, no, right now, I want to draw what I really want to draw. So I got a little sketchbook, put aside the smudge drawing, which didn't help any. Not because It wasn't because it was smudged that I didn't want to keep going, just like the whole feeling of it, the way I was going about it. A lot of vague feelings were putting me off of it. And then I got back down to this other drawing, which is much sketchier, looser, kind of darker, grungier, a little bit grimier. Um, the other one I had to... Can you hear me scratching my face right now? It's okay. I don't know what I want to say. Hope you're all doing okay today. I, uh, I have started wearing um, my hair in a bun for the first time, first couple of days now, and I really enjoy it. And I'm... For a long time, I very vehemently uh, and dogmatically said that I would not wear a man bun. I said that. I said, I will not wear a man bun. I said that like I was making a declaration, um, you know, to like a large, the whole nation. But, um, and I even went as far to say that if I need to put my hair in a bun, you know, if it comes to that, uh, I will instead just cut my hair off. You know, I don't want to be that guy with a man bun, but something happened, and I did become that guy with a man bun. And that thing that happened, uh, a very peculiar and strange thing, was that, well, to put it lightly and um, abruptly and desperately, the thing that happened was that I changed my mind. And now I have a man bun. It's mostly nice because at night you put your hair up on top of your head and I was just getting so sick of getting my hair in my face at night, like it's kind of hot and stuff. Uh, and then also during the day as well. Um, and it also kind of looked like how it looks. Uh, but I mean, if you want to keep all your hair out of your face and you don't care how it looks, then why don't you just cut your hair, right? That was my reasoning before. And I'm not quite sure except that Putting my hair up in a man bun is easier than getting a haircut. And I don't, even easier than cutting my own hair. Because cutting, getting a haircut and doing it yourself is very messy. And I don't even know where my hair clippers are if I still have them. I'm ultimately very lazy in a lot of areas in my life, except for drawing. Like I put a lot of effort, I can put a lot of effort into a drawing, some other creative endeavors, uh, but you know, it's just like a lot of other things just don't seem worth the effort. I kind of place things. There's like a hierarchy of things that I think do or do not seem worth the effort. Uh, but it's okay. I like the way this drawing turned out, loose and sketchy. The light background, the page on the opposite side, that which I drew uh, for the Peter Draws show. 
as a dark background, kind of like a weird yin-yang going on with this page spread. Um, and uh, I like how it turned out. Yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. You're all looking positively beautiful today. You're smiling, shiny, bright faces, glaring up at me. Okay? Y'all go have a good day. All right, bye.